St. Charles, Illinois, a great place to live, a super cool downtown area, and awesome amenities, including the Fox River, but there are some drawbacks to living in this area. So in this video, I'm giving you my honest five pros and cons about living here. These are my true thoughts and opinions, as well as some insights from families that I've already helped move right here. So if you want the good, the bad, the ugly about St. Charles, we're getting after it right now. What's happening, everybody? This is Austin Weiss with Austin Weiss Home Advisors located right here in the Chicagoland area. Whether you've watched some of my videos before or you're brand new and you've never seen my face before, make sure to tap that subscribe button, hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I do a ton of content all about what it's like to work, eat, live, and play right here in the Chicagoland area. If you are thinking about making a move, whether it's to St. Charles or anywhere in the Chicago metro, you can always reach out to me by phone, text, email, days, nights, weekends. I would absolutely love to connect with you and help you in any way with your real estate plan. Now I've done this process a few dozen times over the last couple of years, helping families identify certain areas that they should be concentrating their home search on based on their lifestyle needs. I fully understand you're watching this video because you're most likely making a move to the Chicago Metro. And now you're trying to figure out which town or neighborhood is best for you. Fully transparent, not every town is gonna to be absolutely perfect. So I just wanna share you with you my honest opinions about certain things, share with you all the good and bad qualities about specific areas so that you can make a decision what's best for yourself and your family. Now these pros and cons are in no particular order, but let's get right into St. Charles, Illinois, starting with pro number one in the awesome community known as the pride of the Fox. It's rich in history, has some stellar architecture, family-friendly neighborhoods, great diverse business environment, as well as excellent schools, and an awesome downtown area that hugs the Fox River that make the village a great place to call home. Heritage, community, service, and opportunity are the four driving principles of St. Charles, Illinois. Residents are the heartbeat of the community with 99% of the residents surveyed saying it's an excellent or good place to live. Hopefully they surveyed more than a handful of people, but I think that opinion is justified because it's a previous winner in Family Magazine as the number one place to raise a family. Now there is a ton to do throughout the community for all ages and types of people, especially outdoors with all the trails for biking and nature walks. There's also a ton of activities along the Fox River, parks and forest preserves galore, and kids are playing all over the neighborhoods. Have peace of mind knowing overall it's a safe area. Heck, there's even a community-wide garage sale in April, and Halloween is extra spooky here, so make sure to take part of the pumpkin smash to promote composting after that holiday. Number two pro is the iconic downtown St. Charles area with its beautiful Main Street, its vintage riverfront hotel, and the trendy restaurant scene. Some of my favorite places to go eat is the Graceful Ordinary located right on the Fox River, McNally's Pub because who here in Chicagoland doesn't love an Irish pub, and pretty much anything located on the newly reno renovated First Street Plaza. You can't go wrong, especially Alter Brewery. It's an awesome place to grab a bite to eat, grab a brew, and just sit out on the patio and watch the water flow by in the river. Now, the entire St. Charles community has a plethora of breweries, which I always love to mention in these videos because who doesn't like a cold one on a hot day? So you have Alter, like I already mentioned, and Pollyanna directly across the river on the other side. Just a couple blocks outside of downtown is the Riverlands and D&G Brewery. And if you don't like beer at all, make sure to look at Cooper's Hawk Winery to fill your palate and ask about their wine club memberships. My wife and I have one and it is awesome. But enough about that stuff. A trip to St. Charles is not complete unless you visit Arcata Theater. It was opened in 1926. It houses some of the best events in St. Charles from comedy to live music. And after you catch a live show, make sure to check out the 1920s speakeasy and restaurant. And that takes us right to our very first con, the fact that St. Charles has limited highway access and does not have its own train station. However, 
Just three miles outside of downtown St. Charles is downtown Geneva with the Geneva Metro stop. You can hop on the Union Pacific West Line and get downtown Chicago in just over an hour. Access any suburbs in between. Now, if you're looking to take a road trip or commute to work by driving, good luck. It's about 20 to 25 minutes just to access a highway entrance in any direction so that's kind of a bummer but you can skip the commute altogether as the greater st charles area is diverse in business with plenty of jobs and companies located right in st charles and the greater tri-city area the tri-cities are made up of st charles geneva and batavia with plenty of opportunities in tech education manufacturing and healthcare with some of the major companies being honeywell conagra foods scholastic and merlin 200. The number two con is the location. Now, for some it might be a pro and others it definitely is a con, but St. Charles is one of the furthest suburbs from the city of Chicago. Like I already mentioned, it's its own trip just trying to get to a highway entrance to drive downtown Chicago. It's gonna be 45 miles and in Chicago traffic, that'll probably take you a couple hours. And if you love city vibes and are moving to Chicagoland to be in or near the city of Chicago, then I definitely suggest exploring other areas. So make sure to watch my top Chicago suburb series linked right here. But if you don't care about the city of Chicago, you're looking for a smaller feel city with a tight knit community, great amenities, affordable housing, a healthy economy, then St. Charles definitely could be a great option for you. Next up is our third pro, the parks, recreation, and things to do in the St. Charles area. Now, one of the perks of being further out from the big city of Chicago is that there is more land for parks, forest preserves, and a plethora of golf courses. St. Charles, Illinois is a small, trendy river town, and it's host to many amenities that appeal to everyone, including the trail system I spoke about earlier in the video for biking, running, walking, and hiking. Horseback riding is pretty popular here because of the horse farms on the north end of St. Charles and in neighboring towns, Campton Hills and Wayne. Kayaking, boating, and fishing along the Fox River, just to name a few things. And if you have furry friends, dog parks are awesome here. There's three of them spread out throughout St. Charles. I plan to feature more on all of these activities in my upcoming St. Charles vlog. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on that video and many more videos coming your way. On top of that, there always seems like there's something fun going on in St. Charles between the family events, the concerts, the races, the social clubs. There's several parades throughout the year, including St. Patty's Day and Memorial Day. There's also the Kane County Fair. It's the largest fair in Kane County. It's located right here in St. Charles. There's also the Jazz Weekend Festival in September and the Scarecrow Weekend Festival in October. They make like 80 different scarecrows. You walk around, vote on which one you like the most, and it's just a great way to bring the community together. The next pro is the fantastic homes and real estate. Now, when compared to some of the other top Chicago suburbs, St. Charles is definitely more affordable, and I have to believe that is due to the location and proximity to downtown Chicago. But when I have families come to town, we take a look at several suburbs that are some of the top areas to live in Chicagoland. And then once we make our way out to the St. Charles and Geneva area, they realize that they can get the same product or similar house for upwards of 20 to 25% less than they can in some of those other areas. So whether you're looking for a 7,000 square foot riverfront home, something with acreage, or maybe something that's easier to maintain, St. Charles has many options from new builds to historical homes. Uh, the average price point for a single family detached home is roughly 530,000. The average price point for a townhouse condo is 330,000. Now a general rule of thumb, the closer you are to downtown or the river, you're gonna be paying a premium for those locations. I just sold a unit in the newly built River Lofts located just off the First Street Plaza expansion. The family that lives there has river views and they love the fact that they can just step off the elevator and have about a dozen different restaurants to choose from. So if you're looking for something similar, you have got to give me a call. Which we'll discuss many things, but most importantly, we'll discuss the number three con, and that's where to live in St. Charles. So basically what you're gonna be deciding is to live on the east or the west side of the Fox River. And I bring this up because those bridges that cross the Fox River 
can have some truly awful traffic. There's only a few spots where you can actually cross over by car. So it's really important to decide which side of the river you want to live on. Now, I suggest living on the east side if you need access to other suburbs, the DuPage Airport or Town Hall, the west side, if you want quick access to the Metro train we spoke about earlier in Geneva, if you are a clerk or attorney, that's the side that the Kane County Courthouse is located on. Or if you want quick access, walking ability, parking ability to downtown without having to cross those bridges, the west side is probably gonna be the better option for yourself. Remember, you can always change how a house looks, but you can't easily change the location. Furthering my point of having an idea of where you wanna live in St. Charles brings us to our number five pro, and that's the schools. Now, St. Charles actually has the number one school district in all of Kane County. It's the 22nd ranked school district in all of Illinois. It's comprised of St. Charles and then neighboring towns Campton Hills and parts of Wayne. Has excellent facilities and programs, including music, arts, athletics, and technology. Comprised of 11 elementary, two middle, and two high schools, all the schools have an A rating or higher on niche.com, and the high schools rank number two and number three in Kane County, respectively. It services roughly 12,000 students at a student-to-teacher ratio of 15 to one, well known for its athletics, academics, teachers, and college prep. Now, choosing where to live might be dependent on location, so you can access certain amenities, but also schools as well as certain schools will provide slightly different programs than others. So if your children need a particular program, I would do that research up front before deciding to buy a house. If I can help in any way make that decision for you, provide any information, please let me know. Now that we've covered homes, real estate, where to live, and schools, that takes us into our number four con, and that's the taxes and affordability. Now this is a relative statement because it's going to be dependent on where you're moving from. It could be more or less expensive, but when compared to the rest of Illinois and the country overall, St. Charles does have a higher cost of living. And that's the price to pay to live in an awesome community that has city provided amenities, beautiful parks, clean streets, high paying jobs, and an overall safe and healthy community. Now, from a property tax perspective, expect to pay around 2% of your home value. Have I seen less and more? Absolutely, I have. It really depends on the amenities your house has to offer and how much acreage you have. Now, sales tax is going to be about 8%, and that's city, county, and state combined. And you have to thank our politicians for the next one. We do have a gas tax here in Illinois, so expect gas per gallon to be higher than our neighboring states. All right, we made it last, but certainly not least. The number five con is the weather. Now, I don't know if it's as much of the cold and the wind, and believe me, we get our fair share of that. As much as it is the weeks on end of gray skies without seeing the sunshine. Now, typically, we will see beautiful weather from June to early October, followed by short and cool days throughout the holiday season. Snowplow season will be January and February. Those are the coldest, snowiest months, and spring brings more sunlight, warm weather, and Midwest storms. And there's still plenty of fun to be had in winter with sled hills at Langham and Timber Trails Park, outdoor ice skating at Davis and Lincoln Park, and hockey at Langham Park as well. And look for my St. Charles vlog coming to a screen near you with plenty of fun in the sun activities. If you have questions about anything I discussed in this video, you're always welcome to leave me a comment down below. If you have plans of making a move to St. Charles or anywhere in Chicagoland, you can always give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I'd absolutely love to connect with you and help you in any way possible. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.